Hello, this is a demonstration of the integration between System Center Service Manager and Microsoft Team Foundation Server 2012 using Orchestrate. <clears throat> the solution provides the ability to monitor Service Manager incident tickets based on a specific criteria and automatically creates a work item in Team Foundation Server 2013 using an orchestrator runbook in the back end. Additionally, it also monitors new bug work items in Team Foundation Server 2013 and automatically creates incident tickets in Service Manager and keeps um, them integrated, uh, monitors the status of the incident tickets in Service Manager and then changes the statuses of the bug items when they are changed in Service Manager. So let's take a look at the runbook. So here's our runbook which is monitoring Service Manager incident tickets and creates a bug work item in TFS and updates the same ticket with the work item ID from TFS and sends a notification to the creation to the creator of the incident ticket. So let's create an incident ticket. Give it a classification of enterprise application problems. This could be used as a criteria. Support group can also be used as a criteria when monitoring for specific runbooks. We have extended the incident class to accommodate for the team projects in TFS. This is absolutely necessary, and the name of the team project must exactly match the name of the team project in TFS. And we've also extended it to accommodate for the work item ID, which is this existing runbook is going to come and populate. And we're going to check that once the bug item is created. So just making sure everything is right. And the ticket number is going to be 4238. Going back to the runbook. Four two three eight. It's right there. As you can see, there is an instance running of the monitoring activity. It has successfully created all of them. Let's go back into Service Manager and take a look. So we see that incident number 4238, new defect in app 3, has been created using the same title. And the work item ID is 87, and that should be populated in the extensions right there. And the incident ID number has been populated and added as a prefix to the bug work item. Now, let's turn on the orchestrator runbook that is monitoring new work items at the TFS end. And we're going to create a new work item. 
I'm going to say and that's bug ID number 88 as you can see there is no prefix there as yet and the instance of the run book has started Has successfully completed. If you go back here, bug number 88 now has the incident ID as a prefix, and 4239 is the ticket number. And there it is. Now additionally we can go to the service manager portal and also have our TFS or team or developer team go in and fill in a form to submit an incident record that will automatically create a bug in TFS and an incident ticket in service manager. As a last step, we have a runbook that's monitoring for updates. And if a ticket in Service Manager goes from active to resolved, it will change the status of or the state of the TFS item to done. Okay, and that has now resolved. That was 4238. And that should change the state once this run book runs. Okay, an instance of the run book has run. And 4238 should change to done. Thank you for watching.